Hey Bailey, I have a game I think you're really gonna like. What makes you say that? <laughs> the adventure begins. All across the globe, we will search for the most exotic species to take back to our state. Mr. Jameson Thorsten and Miss Jane Primrose will both set out on their journeys. Behold the natural beauty of the world of wondrous plants in the board game Botany. Use your pets, items, and crew to assist you along the way. Your Wardian case and botanical press will hold your species to get you from one location back to your estate. From America, to Africa, Europe, Asia, Russia, Australia, and South America. These exotic plants can only be seen in these remote locations. You'll travel the world to behold their beauty. Use your expedition cards to your advantage. All the while keeping in mind that the better you do, the more likely you'll get the queen's honor. This is Botany and Board. I am Bailey. And I'm Wyatt. And today we have a very special playthrough for you mm -hmm. because this is for Botany. I'm Botany and Board, everyone. Like, could it be? Botany. Could it be any more perfect? I don't know. We are pretty excited about it. We are pretty excited about it. So with that, Wyatt will uh, kick you off into an overview to mm. before he does, though. So mm. to be known. Yeah. It is on Kickstarter right now. So if you sure. would like to pick it up, we'll leave a link in the description below so mm -hmm. that you can get on that as well if you would like it. It goes through the end of May. So June 1st, I believe, is last day. So if you would like this game, visit their Kickstarter and mm -hmm. give them some love. So kick us off with some more review. Sure. Do you want me to go straight into that or can I say a few things? What are you sure? Okay, so Dusty and Amy <laughs> reached out to us and they wanted us to do a playthrough of their game because we're called Botany and Board and their game is called Botany. Um, so We don't know if that's why they reached out to us. Oh, well, that's a good point. <laughs> you know what? I have no idea why they reached out to us. They're like, maybe maybe this will work out. It seems like a good fit and then they're going to be so surprised. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, let's do a quick overview. Yeah. Players take on the role of a plant hunter in the Victorian era as they travel the world in search of fame, fortune, and the coveted Queen's Prize in Botany. Each turn, players will move around the board to the locations designated on the specimen cards in their hand. While they travel the globe, each player will need to manage their expedition funds, overcome events, and acquire new items, crew, and pets to help them along their journey. Each time players return to their estate, they will add their live and pressed specimens to their garden and build garden features such as orangeries. Orange, man, that's a tough one. <laughs> and conservatories. The player with the most points at the end of the game earns the Queen's Prize in Botany and is the winner. Yes, uh, Amy and Dusty run. And I'm going to be bad, but I'm going to say... Duke's Somnium. Could be Duck's Somnium. I'm not good with that. So they can correct me. It's one of the two, I think, though. I feel good on Somnium. Anyway. <laughs> I feel good on Somnium. Uh, pretty good on Botany. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel really good about Blondie. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to switch so you guys can see the game. I realized I was trying to be Vanna while you were reading, and I was, like, pointing to things, and then I looked up, and I was like, oh, oh we don't okay. have Okay, well, you can point to things now. <laughs> That's okay. The um, expedition cards. No, these are the expedition cards. The mm-hmm. event deck, yep. the expedition cards, the plant cards down below, the coins. That I'm, was what I was we're not going to go that. over how to play <laughs> exactly. Uh, we may mention a few things. Uh, so I'm going to start, and I'm just going to mention a few things. Mm-hmm. So yep. first off, you put a pawn in the estate. That's just yep. talking about where the players are, and you're going to move around the map, and that's your your pawn that moves like so you know where you're at. Secondly, you have another pawn that goes on this track down here for your reputation. Uh, as you sort of level up, uh, let's say, uh, your pawn continues to move upwards until you get to a max of 12. That 12 would then signal end game. So that is the goal of this game is to get to 12. Not necessarily first because that not might not always win, mm-hmm. but to get to 12 in general. Uh, lastly, you have your player boards. Bailey and I well, both have one. Sorry. The goal of the game is to get the most points. Yeah, correct. I'm saying, like, if you get to 12, you might not win. Like, yeah. So that's not exactly the point of the game. But to end the game, 12. Yep. But thank you for the clarification. You said the sentence. That's why I just repeated it. You said the goal of the game is to get to 12 points. And then I was like, well, no. I know really. a person, and every time they're a teacher, and instead of saying the word sentence, they say sentence. And it just drives me crazy. I'm like, you're did a teacher. Say- no, you did it. But oh. no, I'm just saying, it's just something on my it head. This is the tangent. It's, it's okay. in my head. Okay. Anyway, so you have your player mats right here. Uh, there's a garden space, a live species space, and a pressed specimen space. Uh, we will be taking cards from the specimen deck and putting them in there as we collect them throughout our journey. We start with 10 coins each. We each start with a Wardian case. The Wardian case, and I'll bring this up for you, can hold three live specimens. You can buy more than them. They cost four, as you can see at the bottom, to buy them. So currently you start with 10. It's not necessarily ideal to buy it right off the bat because your movement would be shortened. Expedition cards. Uh, These cards turn over and they give you pets, uh, items, and crew members which can help make rolling dice and gaining advantageous, um, well, pretty much just solving event cards. And I'm going to flip over the top one. I'll put it to the bottom. So event cards may say something like this: toxic spores, lose a turn or gain a co- or lose a coin or gain a coin based on your die roll. And the die roll you'll see it says fortitude roll a die. So we have the one die. You would roll this, and long story short, the item, crew, or what did I say? Pet cards could mm-hmm. help you with these event cards. Yep. So I'm gonna move that to the bottom. I don't think we'll get to it. Lastly, you start with two of those sort of cards. I got the Falcon and Thief, which was very fortunate. So if I win this game, heads up, I got high-powered cards from the get-go by chance. Yeah, Bailey got a shotgun and stowaway, which so I, I guess can we can't him. see super good. And I'll stow him good, but... away after. And then lastly, <laughs> lastly, we have our player cards. I am Mr. Jameson Thorsten. And I get plus one to my cleverness rolls, and I get to spend a coin to re-roll any um, dice one time. And who's your person, yes, Bailey? I am Ms. Ms. Oh, you're Ms. Ms. Jane Primrose. Look at Look that. Look at her. I can see so much risk. She can water behind her back. This is like advanced watering mm-hmm. skills. Nothing and... sexier than a late <laughs> 1800s woman holding a gardening can. Right. Love it. Okay, that's why. See, prowess. Mm-hmm. Is and my... you gain one to the prowess. And, and what's your yes. other thing? And so whenever you roll another player, which is only you, mm-hmm. uh, rolls a one anytime you're on an event, I get to gain mm. a coin. Yep. And as Pretty people cool. who know Wyatt very well and has watched him play Final Girl, he rolls ones. I do. Unfortunately, and it's never out. good. I wish they'd make a game where ones were optimal, but they currently don't. Well, now I'm... for me, they are. Uh, lastly, you're going to collect these specimens. You're going to go to your estate. Uh, and when you go to your estate, you get to drop off the specimens. When you do so, you have the opportunity to buy these garden cards, and we'll talk about them when they come up. Lastly, there's some uh, like end game scoring objectives. So for ours today, we have one like this says most expedition cards. The player with the greatest quantity of these cards receives the bonus card, and it's worth two points. Uh, We have also the most pressed specimens and the the most most coins, coins, and each of them are worth two. 
So long story short is as Bailey and I go, we may find that you may say like, oh, why aren't they spending money? Well, it could be because we're going for an end game scoring objective to get the two points. All right. Now to start off the game, Bailey and I get to roll and whoever gets the highest roll, we get to start. She got a four. That's a pretty good roll. That's not bad. That's... Ooh, a one. <laughs> not so good. All right. Oh, that's good. Do I get a coin? No, it wasn't you an event. Nothing. It wasn't yes. an event. Not an event card. But it was close. This is good. This is a good setup. She is getting excited about that. <laughs> can idea. I please have four cards? You can have four specimen cards. Good ones. <laughs> Central Canada, Three. Ethiopia, Southern four. States, and Midwest. And for Ooh. me, one. Okay, so this is actually a pretty two. lucky draw on the start. I got a lucky draw too. What this kind of indicates down well, here. This is better than mine. Um, so you have the card themselves, uh, where it's located, and then what helps you is similar to like Pandemic and some other games. So this actually color depicts what region on the map it is actually located. So light blue, similarly... green, uh, the dark blues are not actually places that you score points. Those are usually ocean waters. Uh, I'm going to say pink just for the sake of the camera. Uh, there's a brown and like this is actually brownish red and then a yellow. So yes, just like. In, in a way, kind of like pandemic. Oh, okay. It probably Proceed. came from the peony. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Sorry, we saw a very small bug that was like traversing you... the U.S. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> had to put it into it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we don't want any West Nile spreading around. That's right. It this was, was like pandemic. Just to be clear, it was I not thought. a mosquito, and I think Bailey doesn't know how West Nile spread. <laughs> so, just to I'm be just, just to be clear, I'm just going with what I'm working with. Okay. okay. So you get to All go right. first. What do you so, do first? What I was telling them was similarly to uh, Pandemic, this indicates what region it is in. Mm -hmm. So this is good, like in Ticket to Ride, for instance, yeah. I have some uh, species that I can pick up close together, which will be very handy. Also, it just started like It's downpouring. like a torrential downpour <laughs> like, here. So like if you hear any like weird noises in our mics, which I don't think you will, but if you do, uh, these... it's like a downpour all of a sudden. All these showers will bring lots of flowers. Perfect time for botany. Everyone, everyone, everyone. This is just such a good time. All right. On my turn, I will go ahead and show you guys just this real fast so you can okay. see the general options that I have, or the rundown, I guess, that goes through on each player turn. You're going to pay one coin at the start. You're going to pull an event card if you a run into a specimen that you need to pick up or you decide to do it right off the bat. If you don't run into a specimen and don't pull it at the beginning, you don't pull one at all. Mm -hmm. Three, you yep. get to move. Four, uh, you draw your specimen cards back up to four. And five, you'll in collect your income based on your reputa reputation, which is one for a while until we get to four, which is two. I believe nine is three and 12 ends the game. Um, so just long story short, you're going to be making money at your house while you're going on. And six, you get to buy from, can you pull the card away? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you get to buy from the expedition cards. Oh, and also, sorry, I forgot to mention, these are all prototype materials. So this is not yeah. like the final artwork. And Although I've been very be. pleased with yeah. the artwork, honestly. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe those were... If they get better, they're already pretty good. Well, I feel like this this is probably pretty final art, but you, okay. you know, like the quality of the cards and like everything you see is dusty. Neighbor, they're like, putting that, that's um, not even close to the final sorry, art at all. A little bit interjection. Okay, they're putting a uh, gold foil and gold just on a lot of things, and <coughs> I love gold. How do you know they're putting gold foil on it? Because I saw the stretch goals that are getting unlocked. Oh, okay. So I was like, how the do you game know that? board. And all the boxes come with gold foil. They didn't tell us that. So I didn't hear that. Yeah, it said in there that they they're like, yep, we like gold. I'm like, I okay. like gold too. I do like gold. <laughs> okay, on to my turn. Yes. Now that we know how it goes, I will start my expedition. I pay a coin yep. as in each turn. I then can decide. Let's see, where do I want to go? So I'm heading over this way. So I'm going to go ahead and move. I just want to see which order I need to pick them up in. Midwest and then Central and then Southern States. Hmm. Midwest, okay. yeah. Cent Central Canada. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to decide which okay. way I want to yeah, go yeah. about getting to the Central. Not Canada. a good uh, really yeah. avenue. All but. right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Uh, one, two, three. So actually, I did not achieve anything because my other one was Ethiopia. Okay, you didn't encounter things. She didn't need a bit. 
Whoa. Oh. They're old. Oh, I just cleared cl it up. So for you. he's like, I'm ready to go. My turn. My I know. Turn. I'm ready I'm for like, my it's turn. It's my turn. Let's do this thing. <laughs> so I did not do anything with any of my specimens. Mm -hmm. However, I'll go ahead and collect an income yep. for my estate. I then can choose to buy something if I so choose. Uh, and I think for now, I will go ahead and. Who oh, do I want? I might actually get the hunting dogs. When you draw a specimen, draw an additional one, discard one. I'm going to get the hunting dogs. I haven't played with that yet, so I'm going to do it. So one, two, three. I have the hunting dogs now, and it is your turn. Okay, thank you. I'm going to spin a coin. Like, I'm take taking her. off. I know, she's taking a long time. There's one move, and I'm heading to the brown. So it looks like I need to head for China. Two, three. I didn't encounter anybody. You're good. I'm going to collect one at my estate. Bailey, your turn. All right. That's how quick it can be done. <laughs> I'm leisurely smelling the flowers. She smell. You know, I want to get to the flowers. I'm on. I, my cards <laughs> are still getting to the flowers, so I moved on. Okay, paying income, going on my expedition. I hear. Actually, hold on. I gotta back up. I actually Do went through Scandinavia, so I get a thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm taking my thing. And then back. I gotta I'm take an event card, right unfortunately, because oh, I. Oh, this is. This is yeah, how sorry. Fast it can go. This is how fast it could have went. <laughs> I could have skipped around Scandinavia, but I do have a card. Land. So this is an event card. Land. The members of the Botanical Society laughed at you when you swore you would return for <laughs> the most exceptionally rare specimen. I get to one to three, lose a reputation, or four to six, gain a reputation. So I'm going to roll a die now and see where I am. Do I have anything for reputation? I have... Oh, nope. I got a three. What was a three? Ah, uh, lose a rep. Oh, mm. can't do it. Okay. So, all right, and that's a good time to get that. it didn't stop me, so I went one, two, three, end up the Baltic. Go ahead. All right, my turn now. As I was saying, I did it really <laughs> fast, though, even in redoing it. <laughs> I leisurely am going to pay my toll. No, I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, it, did, <laughs> it felt leisure. Pay right. my toll, move up to three spaces. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move to the Midwest. U S. Okay. Yes. You Midwest US. That is so that there. was two? Yep. Okay. And I while I'm there, found the sunflower, which is the state flower of Kansas. Everyone which is where White and I grew up. So Yep, we did there we born and raised in Kansas. <laughs> so I'm gonna Sunflower place, State, if anybody's wondering. I'm gonna place this in my Wingardian uh Wardian. Yeah. I'm getting confused with Wingardium instead of Wardium. <laughs> So, yeah, I picked up on that. <laughs> yes. Like, we we have been playing uh, the new Harry Potter game on PlayStation, so then we've been learning been blast, the basic honestly. Yeah, the basic spells yeah. of Guardian Leviosa. So then now I feel like whenever what? I put things in Leviosa. my Leviosa. Yeah. Leviosa. Not Leviosa. So Wardian case, not Wingardium Wardian. <laughs> when okay. Wardian. Okay, so I put Warrior. it in my case. Oh, I'm just going to set it beside it because it's just easier. Okay. Uh, and this holds three specimens currently. So I placed one in. I have one more move that I can make. So I'm just going to mosey right on up into Central Canada. But first, I'm sorry. I trigger, Canada. I trigger an event mm -hmm. first in the U.S., but then I'm going to go to Central Canada. Okay. The event card, which I haven't tried it from this camera angle, but we'll see. I wonder if I need to take it really close. Yeah, for some reason, I always have trouble. It does it a lot better here. Hmm. Okay. Casual trespassing. Okay, local authorities take issue with your casual dismissal of trespassing and hunting. Uh, oh. And are hunting you with the most vicious, unnecessary canines. That's okay. so sweet. Charm. So charm roll. Roll a die. One to two, you lose a specimen. And three to six, you gain a pet. Oh, no. I'm only prowesses. <laughs> I'm not charming. Okay, maybe I am. You gain a pet. Oh, I love pets. Okay. So, again, I will go through one by one until I find a pet. And then I will shuffle these back up for everybody. Hunting dogs. I already have hunting dogs. Now I have... But I so think many. the stuff stacks, if I recall. Yeah, I probably, I'm going to play it that it stacks because then... I think it does stack. By I that think it says the rules. Oops. Which oh. I know because I read. <laughs> feel confident that it does. 
It could All be right. So I'm shuffling these up and then I just need to, I'm walking one more and I'm going to put my second specimen into my Warbian case. Okay. Are you going to Central Canada? Yes. Okay. And I have the Trillium. And I'm going, which kind of looks like a, a Peperomia, like uh, in between the watermelon Peperomia and the Futilata. Okay. So I'll Not deposit sure half that the words she's into saying. my Wardian case. And that is all my moves. Okay. I will then grab my income mm -hmm. for my estate and I will draw back up to four specimens. Okay. Is your turn done? My turn is done. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to just spend a coin, go on my journey to, it looks like I need to get to China still. Do I, have, okay, I have Northeast China and regular. So one, two, three. <laughs> well, wasn't that this convenient? Well, just Northeast versus China is going to be Northeast of it. No, I meant wasn't it convenient? They're right next to each other. Well, yeah, they're both China. Yeah. I know, I'm just... <laughs> okay, I okay, wasn't I'm for sure it was going to... All right, people. I wasn't... A little math, <laughs> or a map, little quiz over here. Where did you think Northeast China was going to be if China was here? I didn't... There's a level of surprise that we're having that I don't know I wasn't what to say. surprised. Oh. I was just pointing out the, the fact that, like, well, that was lucky. That like, was you lucky. Got oh, two. that I have two. Yes. Okay. I'm like, I'm not saying that it's weird that they're located next well, to each other, of seemed course. weird when you said it. I'm going to oh. capture that uh, China card, which was the Rosa Hemispherica, and that's going to draw an event card. This event card says, you receive a letter from a notable botanical artist, Marine North, who is requesting the, I think Mary Ann, sorry, who is requesting the original location of a particularly rare specimen you discovered. Cleverness roll one die, which is good because my character gets a plus one uh, cleverness. So, I just need to get a four through a six, and I get a plus one. Nice. So, I get that, and then I have a falcon, which says every time I get a reputation, I get to do a five or six to gain an additional one. Oh, that would have been, that been <laughs> awesome. Your falcon can't fly. <sighs> <Easy to see. laughs> that was my three moves. I'm going to go ahead, draw back up. Perfect card. I'm going to get my estate money, and Bailey, it is your turn. Okay. I am going to first pay. Mm -hmm. Work on my Like expansion. that idea. I will move one, two, three to the southern states and deposit my bromelade, which I do have, but I didn't bring it down. Or we could have done it for our print spotlight for today. Plant spotlight. <laughs> I'll put it in my Wardian case, and that triggers an event now that I have acquired that specimen. The event. An event happens. We have Ravine. While picking flowers at the edge of a ravine, the ground crumbles away beneath you. You need to roll the die based on agility. One to three, you lose an item. Four to six, you gain a reputation. reputation. Six. Wow, six. nice. Okay. All right. Cool. That's reputation a big move. for me. Well, what did you lose? You lose an item. I mean, that's kind of harmful. I get income for my estate. And then lastly, I haven't been, I think I might have missed doing this last time, but I'm going to draw back up. But with my lovely hunting dogs, I actually get to draw um, one additional card and then discard one of the drawn cards. So I have okay. two sets of hunting dogs because mm -hmm. I'm like a dog lady. So I think, dog that, lady. I think that means, right, if I draw up one, then I get to draw one more. Yeah, I think you now get to draw this many. So do I get to down. draw two? Because I have two sets of hunting dogs. Do you think? Yeah, I think draw so. Draw one additional, one additional. Yeah, you just—I just gained just you another one. Well, I to get to four. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you already because you got rid of one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So one was your normal and move, the, and the yeah, other. Yeah. So two. I have to yeah. discard I two, but I yeah, get. Yeah, I think pick. you get them both. But I get to pick which one. Mm -hmm. Now, does it say one you... of one of the drawn cards? So it is. Yes. So I just only get to pick out of these. Which these? No, no, no. This one is yours for the keeping, right? Because the one you got from your nor. Oh, you're using. No. Okay, yeah, so these from are my the three. Drawn yeah, cards. yes, and yes. then you have to give two yeah, back. Exactly. So England, England, and England is great because you have to go there to get your estate. So yeah, that's pretty. That's an easy one that to grab. One. Yeah. All right, so I have my four things. It is mm -hmm. your turn. Did you get your estate thing already? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, on my turn, I'm going to go to Northeast China and get the Chrysanthemum, and that will trigger this event. This event is It's very lava. dramatic. Yeah, I know. It's a very slow roll. <laughs> lava. While ignoring the warning signs and climbing the active volcano anyways, you find yourself trapped on the wrong side of some rather hot lava. I get to do another cleverness roll. One to three, lose an item. Four to six, gain a pet. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> so even with my plus one, I will spend a coin. I'll re-roll. Five. Okay. I get it. Wait, did you get a one the first time? I did, oh, but, but I re-rolled re it with it. my okay. person's turn. So uh, since I got it, now I will gain a pet. Is there a pet out here? No, no. You have to search for item, 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 crew, item, crew, pet. I got the bear. Pet. I actually don't know what the bear does. Bailey had it before. If you are the target of an item, crew, pet, or negative specimen card, roll one die on a four to six and roll on a four to six block the card if I roll that. It's pretty high powered for. If you're the target of an item, crew, pet, or negative specimen card. Okay. Um, so I went one to Northeast China and got that card. I think your bear would actually save you from the thief. It would have been one good way to use your bear, but you have the thief as well. Yeah. Two, three. I'm going to head. I'm, I'm heading home is what I'm really doing. I'm going to get my estate money and it is your turn. All right, so I have two things in my, no, I have three things in my case. So actually, it might be a good time for me to go back. Once per turn, you may roll one die, and a five or six, you may move one extra land space. Hmm. Three and a, cancel the negative effects of one of the cleverness for the decoy. <laughs> okay, I think I'll go ahead, so I pay my one, and then I will move one, two, three into England. Okay. And I will go ahead and just press this flower here. So okay. this will be worth one point at the end of the game, regardless of what its point value was. All uh, press flowers are worth one. So I put it in my botanical press. And then I that will trigger an event, please, sir. An event. <clears throat> here we go. This event is Holy Bats. While collecting specimens at the mouth of the sea cave, thousands of bats suddenly burst forth from the darkness. A fortitude rule. Oh no, I lose One to item. three loses an item. Four to six gains an item. Darn. So I only have one item, which is my shotgun, which was plus two to prowess. So that was really upsetting because I actually like items that give me plus two. Darn, darn, darn. Okay. That was that. I get my estate income okay and i draw back up which i will take two and i'll pick one that i want to keep of these two okay and i will pick siberia although actually cambodia is Sib nope siberia is closer okay. <clears throat> i'm gonna spend a coin do my three turns and i'm i could get one if anybody's wondering i could get one in the baltic but i'm actually gonna skip it and land there, not have any events, and... He wants to see me. He's showing up with his terrarium uh, watering case, and he's like, look at what I have. Getting my estate money, and now I'm ready for the Bailey's turn. You weren't coming there to rub it in my face. Before. I was not. <laughs> with your bear. Uh, all right. In to the estate. I go. Okay. And <laughs> so now that I'm at the state, I'm going to empty my warding case, <laughs> put my sunflower, my mm -hmm. trillium, my bromelade into my live specimens area. I then get one point for each of those. One coin, one coin. For, one coin for each of those. And then since I sold a set of three, I get a reputation. She sure does. 
And then, or not sold, just brought home instead of three. And then I have one press specimen, so I'll go ahead and place that here. And you don't get a coin for your press specimens. Correct. Okay. And then I will get my income. And then I wonder, so I don't have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and discard one of these decoys. Because so while you're at the estate, you can also do some mix up. Yeah, you can like cards. cycle through cards, whether it's your own cards or the expedition cards. You so get to choose gonna... one from the expedition cards and you can choose as many of your hand to cycle through one time. If you did want to cycle through your hand more often, you have to leave and go find one of the specimens in your hand and then come back. So you can't just sit there jump in and out of the estate and cycle through all your cards until you have an advantageous hand. And so I moved one to get up there. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and move. No, you can't move. There's I no more move. moves once oh, you've entered darn. the estate. Okay. So I was at my estate only then. So mm -hmm. these are my coins. I was Those gonna take them coins. into my hand. And I'd already gotten the income yep. from that round. If you wanna do anything, if you I could buy from buy. the garden or yeah, or you could buy from the expeditions. I don't want to buy from the garden or buy from the garden yet, okay. but the expedition. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll hold off. I don't love those. I feel like I always want you to shuffle them up some more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My turn. While you're there, you know, you only can do one per time. My turn? Yes. You're okay. Good. I'm going to spend a coin. I'm going to go up one. I'm in the estate, so I'm going to drop off my three cards. Three into the live specimens. And for doing that, I move up on the reputation. I also get three coins. And then this round in general, I get a coin from my estate. So I'm just adding them in because they're all going to come back into my hand. Uh, I'm pretty good with my cards for the most part. I think I'll get rid of this one and cycle one card. Yeah, this is better, so that was good. Um, actually, I'll cycle two cards just on the off chance. I'm going to get rid of the Baltic and see what we got. Okay, not not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, and lastly, I'm going to spend one, two, three, four and I'm going to buy a Wardian case, so I have two of them. Uh, so when I go out on my next adventure, I can hold a lot more plants. <clears throat> I should have kept the Cambodia, not the Siberia. Because I realize now I have Ethiopia as well. So I could have just done this. But that's all right. I had a total of eight coins. Okay, Ailey, it is your turn. Okay. I'm leaving the estate, going on my way. One, two, three. Baltic. Baltic. I do not have anything to do in Baltic, so no event will trigger. Okay. And therefore, I don't want to buy anything yet. You didn't want to like shuffle those up while you're in your estate. I don't. You don't want to shuffle any of those items up. No, I'm okay with them. It makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, right. Did you get your estate income? Mm -hmm. No. No, not yet. I mean, just because it, yes. Sorry, you were rushing me. Oh, I, I thought you sounded like you were done. Well, I was trying to say if I want to buy stuff. If you're never I going she was to, done. you're never going to shuffle. It's your turn. Them. I can't shuffle them on your turn. All right, your turn. Go <laughs> right ahead. Now my turn, I might. <laughs> All right, one coin and one, two, three. I go to West Africa. I haven't encountered anything I can do, so it is your turn. I will give my one to my estate. All right. And off I go to Siberia. That was two moves. Mm -hmm. Mongolia, drop off. Oops. I'm like, I yeah, know. I know. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> you just put it down. <laughs> okay, dropped off one. Uh, triggers an event. Okay. Event card. 
Wait, Wait I'm in Siberia. I'm sorry. This is the wrong card. But I'm going to go to the uh, Mongolia next. Uh, the Watcher. All right. Royal visit. Uh, the queen has decided to grace you with a royal visit. One to three, you lose a reputation. Four to six, you gain one. Yes. Okay, gain. go ahead. That was perfect because now I'm getting two income per turn. And I'm taking one more step. Now I'm in Mongolia. <gasps> oh, yeah. Remember, I, I was. gained a reputation to three, so I get to roll that I didn't get any for my falcon. Mm, yes. Okay, I've done all of everything that I wanted to do. I get my income. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to draw two cards, so give me one more for each one. Sorry, two more for each one. I get one more for each one with each card. You get four. Yes. Wait, or do I get... You'd get two normally, and when those you give you a plus any, two. Oh, when you draw any number, draw one additional, one additional. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're right. All right. Ooh, these are all... Columbia. Columbia. Southern states. Let's see. Ethiopia. So I got to keep two of these and return two. Hmm. I have some pretty cool moves coming up. If anybody's curious, it's going to be great. Once Bailey finishes her turn, though, I have a, another idea that we can do. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of those two. Okay. These are all mine. It's your turn. Oh, I was going to say, do you want to do a plant spotlight? Plant spotlight? What are we yeah. spotlighting? Whichever plant you want to. You have this thing's like, we're surrounded by so many plants. Do you have a card, though, that was the spotlight? Are all these on the cards? No, most of them. There's are. like any of them to choose. No, this is the only one actually that would be on card. So you don't want to do a plant spotlight? No, we can. I was like, I sang. <laughs> sang. Let's do. Let's do the flower because that is okay. what um, makes sense for today. All right. So we have with ourselves today an outdoor plant spotlight, which is a little bit different than normally mm. here on Botany and Board. We try to mix in a plant spotlight during our playthroughs to show you the love of the plants and the love of the board games. This is a peony. Wow, look at that. It says right. Botany and Board and has the plant. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, go uh, ahead. Actually, why I can insert a little clip probably of the girls and I going to clip this very... I probably could do that. Yeah. Clip this very specimen ourselves this morning to she sure set did. up for the stream. <laughs> but yeah, so peony, nice. very popular for weddings, very lush, full flower. Um, if you do have outdoor ones, they, they do get very heavy, so they kind of like, so you do have to, it actually like helps them a little bit to clip some of them so the other ones can see. Yeah, it. it's a real downer once they get big, like literally downer, like <laughs> they're too heavy. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm just saying. Golly, golly. Golly, gosh. <laughs> All right, my turn? Yep. All right. I'm going to pay a coin, and I'm going to go to Guinea. And at Guinea, I'm going to put that down. And, oh, sorry. And now I'm going to pull an event card. And it says, it's thinking about saying, spare shoes. After weeks of torrential rains, you have used up the entire supply of spare shoes and are forced to walk barefoot across miles of stinging grass. Stinging grasses. Interesting. Uh, so I got to do a fortitude roll. One to two, I lose a specimen from my botanical press. Three to six, I may move one more space. You don't have anything in your botanical press, so not that big of a deal. Come on, three to six. Oh, oh one. That's great. Wait, where was I at? Four. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think I was, and I only got one income for last time, so I get one extra. How did you get there? I got there because I, on my event, I gained a reputation oh, with okay. the queen. Okay. Uh, so that didn't affect me, ultimately. So I'm going to go on to, so that I believe I was one, two, now I'll go to Madagascar, and I'm going to put, this one's kind of cool, Darwin's Orchid. Madagascar. Add that to my hand. So that is one, two, three. I didn't get the extra move, so I'm just going to draw back up. Gain my estate token. And Bailey, it is your turn. 
Alright. <laughs> On my way, pay my coin. Mm -hmm. I am now headed to Northeast China. I am going to simply press this. Which how lucky she wisteria. is. It was so close to regular China. <laughs> I was in Mongolia, all right. <laughs> so I'm going to press this here. And then that was one move. I now want to head over to The nice thing about pressing plants is some of the plants are poisonous and they have negative values, which if you take them home live, you can put them in the other person's uh, estate to sabotage them by giving them negative points. But if you press them, uh, it converts it to one point. So if it was like a negative three and you're like, your cases are full and you can't exactly take them home the right way to sabotage, then you could press them and turn a negative three into one positive point for you. Yep. And I think you can have as many as you want pressed. Mm -hmm. So I, since I pressed that specimen though, I did trigger an event. Okay. Event me. All right. Event. Brambles. While seeking the perfect specimen, you wander into a tangle of brambles. Do a charm roll. One to three. Oh, you got it. You may press one specimen. I actually, it's sad though. I don't really, Have I didn't, to press. I didn't want to press any because I wanted to pick this one up in Ethiopia on my mm -hmm. way home to fill out my case. And then these are Southern States and New England, which are right beside each other. Sure. So I actually, I'm just going to forgo. Okay. All right, then get your estate coin if you have not already. And I'm going to start my turn. Uh, two coins because I coins. have okay. I'm more influential than you or my reputation. Is more like, reputable. I'm more reputable than you, of course. Definitely not more influential. <laughs> All right. Okay. I get, hold on, I get to draw two now because of. Man, her turns, I swear, they take the longest. <laughs> she does like a partial turn and then it's like, I'm all These good. are both in the West Indies, so I'll just pick them. Okay. My turn? Mm -hmm. Sure. One coin. I'm going to spend one coin. One. Two. I'll end up in Tibet with you. Uh, push pause. You got a lag on your cell phone. Did it fix itself? Seems fine. Okay. It was. It just, maybe it just had to like work itself through. Go ahead. I'll watch it. Okay. I'm going to end up in Tibet with you and I'm going to put the, down the blue poppy and fill this. Did you uh, pay your expedition? I already did that. And that was only two moves to get to okay. Tibet. Now I'm looking to get to Russia. So I'm going to go, oh, let me do my event card. Yeah, it's slightly laggy. Uh, it looks like a cleverness roll for an investment that takes interest in the potential profits of the expedition and grants you an astonishingly large sum of money. One to three, I lose a crew. Four to six, I gain a crew. Do I have any crew in my hand? I do. I just realized the thief is a one-time use. Like mm -hmm. I could have used yep. it at any time and just stole yeah. one of your things. One of them. And now I potentially have to give it away. Uh, what was that number? Uh, cleverness. So I get three. So I'll just spend a coin because this one's okay. Nice. And well, because I don't want to lose a yeah, card that's worth it. five. Right, definitely. Because I didn't. I should have used it earlier. I didn't know it was one-time use. So I got the six. Um, so I get to gain a crew. Is there any crew up here? Got it. Because I hate going through the whole thing. <laughs> I know. Like, I don't want to have to shuffle again. All right. Love that. Now I get to move my extra one. So that was one, two, Central Asia puts me at three. Okay. And then get your estate income, mm -hmm. which is just one. Did you want to steal one of my things before you lose that card? Um, I get to steal a live, a random live specimen from one other player's estate. I think last time we took it from my hand, maybe. No, I took it from your estate. Oh, okay. Wow. It's a big one. <laughs> and discard. Okay. 
cost me a coin though to keep that. All right, yeah. so it is your turn. Back to my turn. Back to your turn. Sounds so succinct. Back to your turn. Back to your turn. Back to my turn. <laughs> your turn. Your turn. To my turn. Okay. I am walking. Walking. After midnight. After midnight. <laughs> okay. One. Okay, where are you going? Two. Uh huh. Also, I should never do that. I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible singer. So anytime I should not. Uh, Everybody will just to... assume it's a parody. I that's what it, that's what <laughs> oh, it has. Laugh track. That's what it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I found yes. the gl gladiolus. Nice. Why are you saying yeah. it so weird? Gladiolus. I mean, it was kind of a weird. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I see that? No. Go ahead. Not not because of what you're doing. So there is. There's the focal point. Okay. For some reason, we couldn't get this to focus earlier on the zoomed in. So this is officially my third thing I have in my Wardian case. So I mm -hmm. need to head home. So I'm going to go. That'll trigger an event. But with my third movement, I will be heading back towards my estate. But event, please. Okay. Event Here comes me, the event. Sir. And the event. Let's see if I can do what Bailey did. When she did it, it's impressive. A yodeler. In what you can only be described as a fate laughing at you, a rather enthusiastic yodeler has somehow joined your caravan. Fortitude roll. One to two, lose a crew. What, and the other I was three move. to six. You may move one more space. That doesn't really help me that much, but... Well, it's, been, it's hard to say. Didn't hurt me. That's so right. So I will take it. Yeah. Okay. And then I will take two... So whenever I draw up one... I get to draw two extra cards because I have two packs of dogs, right? Uh -huh. So I, out of these three cards, I get to keep one to, to jive with my... So I have a West Indies. Is that... That's close to Mexico. I'll take that. All right. Got my four cards. Uh, my estate income. I need to get that for the round. Okay. And back to you. Back to me. All right. So I'm going to spend one expedition. I'm going to go one, two. I end up in Russia. I'm going to get this plant. Just so in case everybody's like, what plant did he have? The muscari. It's kind of simplistic. I guess it's not <laughs> that. Like it's like, Somebody's like, hmm, it looks like a weed with a flower on top. I'm like, yeah, I agree. Uh, so anyway, that's in Russia. Weeds with flowers. <laughs> um, so that was one, two, I believe, right? Yeah, I went for Central Asia. One, two, and I got that. Triggers an event card. My event is... You become so enamored with the adventurous life of a deckhand that you convince the captain to assign you to duties while aboard the ship. One to two, lose the reputation. Three to six, gain a coin. Mm -hmm. You don't want to lose a reputation. I sure don't. Three to yeah. six, I gain a coin. I like that. Okay. All right, then for my third move, I'm going to move towards Yeah, I'm going to go from Russia to Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Yeah. Kazakhstan. Somebody's like he butchered that. Sorry. <laughs> Kazakhstan. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> I'm gonna draw back up to the number that I need. Oh, I, actually, that this does help me. That was a good card to draw. Did you and get I get my state income, income, and it's your turn. All right. That was actually a good move for me. To my estate, I go one, two. Okay. Here I am unloading all these beautiful specimens. One, one two, two, three. Three coins. Three coins and three were sold, so there are... One on the reputation go. for doing three. I have one extra pressed flower in my okay. midst. Very and nice. And then I will get two coins at the end of the round. So I will not be triggering an event this turn. However, I have all this money before I leave, so do I want something? It's kind of interesting. The playthroughs we've been doing, I feel like I've had more of these items mm -hmm. where I've had like more of a developed character and I haven't quite done that this time exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but. But. 
I don't currently know that like any of those are, oh, I'm at, I'm at the estate though. I can get rid of these things that I don't like. So I am going to get rid of the decoy. Be gone. Oh, more, more prowess. I already have mm -hmm. good prowess. And do I want to get rid of any cards that I have? I actually really like these. I have a good, I have a good flow going for myself. I don't think I'll buy anything, so I'll get my two already income. Did. I already did my yep. two income, so back to you. I don't watch her. All of a sudden, she gets all these extra coins. I'm like, oh, oh boy. It's like a, I got my income for collecting and passing gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, I go to Turkey to Egypt. Egypt, I'm going to put this card into my hand of cards. And that will trigger an event. This event says, Standoff. You come upon a traveler in a standoff with would-be robbers. I get to do a prowess roll, and I need a one to four to lose a coin. Five to six to gain a crew. Wow, that's a tough one. Uh, do I have any prowess? I do. You Do you? I do. That's my character. Plus mm -hmm. one. And if you roll a one, I get a coin. Well, I got a coin last time, so I, I don't know what I'm arguing about here. But Woo, I get a coin. Wow. And then she popped her jaw. I know. I jaw did Like, wow. Uh, I'm a physical therapist, so I should treat her for TMJ. But I'm currently not treating her for TMJ. So, uh, so that was from Kazakh. Kazakhstan. So I went one, two to Egypt. And from Egypt, I'm going to go to West Africa and pick up a third. I'll just show you. This one's pretty. This is the uh, Primrose. That's pretty. Oh, that's my name. How dare you steal my plant? This is blasphemous. <laughs> Miss Primrose. <laughs> This turns into a murder she wrote, yeah. and I go after, I just follow along his expeditions, and I try to sabotage him. Bailey's just dying for that to be, like, the whole, <laughs> like, for this to turn into a murder mystery. She's like, what's that? It turns into Clue? Uh, so I get one, because I'm still at that spot on the board. I'm going to draw my hand up, and it is your turn. Well, they had my mind there, because you could buy a conservatory, and Mrs. Peacock, and clue always wow lives this in actually the that it actually panned out pretty nicely on that turn That's just i mean the last couple of turns have really like when i look at logistically even if i lose coins it's, it's turned out nice yeah he has he is scary he has a ton of plants and he has two cases that are full yeah and i in a perfect poise to walk right up to my estate on the next round yeah, yeah. so i'm happy about the current situation He's so happy. <laughs> and I have a falcon, so I get to roll it every time I go up. I get to roll my falcon and see if uh, <laughs> I get to go up again. So there's a chance. There's a chance. Okay, I'm going, <clears throat> setting off, and I am going to head mm -hmm. towards the, what was I doing? New Where England, Southern States, West Indies, and Mexico was my route I was going to do. So yes, I was going to go da -da -da, this way, exactly. So I will go one, two, a three, and I do not get to do an event because I can't quite get anywhere that I okay, need to get be. get your estate coins. Get my two income for my estate, and I will not buy anything. I will wait. All right. Good. Actually, do you have any, um, like, sabotage towards me? This thing says, like, prevent no. the loss of one specimen. Hmm. And I'm like, how often, how often would that happen? But then I was like, do you have something? Uh, <laughs> I do not. Okay. Then Good. Yep, onward. I'm going to spend my one coin and go one, two, three. I'm in the estate. I'm going to drop off these six mm. beautiful live plants. Six of them. It's getting quite the hefty stack over here. And that will allow me to go up one. I'm going to do my falcon roll. I may roll one die every time I go up. If I get a five or six, I get an additional upwards. Ah, okay, but I got two, so I'll go up the next one and roll for the falcon. Come on, falcon. It's like I'm holding my hand up here. I'm like, land on my wrist. <laughs> ah, falcon. Someday. <laughs> His falcon's like, I <sighs> operate for no one. Yeah, it does <laughs> seem that way. Uh, so while I'm in my turn, I'm at the estate, I'm going to go ahead and say, I mean, I should 
do something about the, the prowess and get the shotgun, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead, cycle through my cards. I'm going to get rid of that one. And where's green? You want to cycle through the other I'm going to go through. The, well, I, no, I think I'm okay. Ah, please, just can you just get rid of this thing? No, me? this game is not cooperation. What do I say? But if two people vote out. Something... There's only two people here. 50, I know. 50. No one wants the Warvian case. What if I want? Prevent the loss of one specimen. I don't want that right now. You don't have anything to take anything from me, and I don't see it happen. Oh, that's okay. Well, that might happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I cycled through my cards. I'm going to keep these. Because you lost your thief, right? You don't have a thief. I'm going to gain two. Gaining two, because now I have a two Are reputation age? level. So I'm going to take all of these. And have those. What do I want to do besides that? I think I will go ahead. I have one, two, three, four. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Same thing I did last. Here's six coins. I get six <laughs> coins for turning those in. I was like, man, I should be having more money. <laughs> Gets me every time. Did I even do it the first time? Did I get my yeah, probably you did. did. Yeah, you did it the first time. All right. So now with more money, what I'm going to buy is... I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the conservatory. This is Peacock's conservatory. And gain, because I have plenty of live specimens. And. So two reputation. Two reputation is going to cost me eight. So, so you can six. make your falcon try to fly again. That's true. Will he fly? <laughs> now, let me read the falcon card. Each time you gain a reputation, you may roll one die. On a five or six, gain one additional. I gained two reputations. Does that mean I get to roll twice? Mm. Mm. You know what's interesting about this? Dusty and Amy are the only ones who could tell me That's true. that Dusty whether or not. So I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll twice because I don't think I'm going to get it based on my previous rolls. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I wonder if you want to say that I only roll once if I buy a two reputation mm -hmm. card. So. Nothing. And nothing. Okay. That made Better it that made it easy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, okay. I wish I would have got something on that. That would have been nice. Alright, I think I'm good. I collected all the coins that I personally need at this moment. I'm gonna trade some in to get some so I can better see what's going on. Okay, so I have seven. Yep. I think I'm ready. Your turn. All right. On I go. Okay. I am headed towards New England. Mm -hmm. One, two. I drop off this beautiful <clears throat> Phlox. This actually might be my favorite card in the game. It's very pretty. It reminds you of like an Phlox olive branch. Phlox of New England. And that triggers this card. Misplaced. Wow. This, this might be my favorite card. Misplaced <laughs> Sextant. Oh. I don't even know what that means, but I'm about to ready to read the card. The ship's navigator has somehow misplaced his sextant. Sextant? I don't know. I'm not a, you know, I do have an extensive <clears throat> vocabulary, but I can't see past what I'm reading here. <laughs> so, especially with that, I don't, I mean, I don't even know. I don't know what to say here, but one to three, and you can collect <laughs> your state income. Four to six, you gain a coin. Okay. So you got three. one to three. You needed a uh, wait, uh, four wait, to wait, six. Wait. I have pay one coin and I get plus three to my cleverness. Okay, so, so then four that? to six, you gain a coin. That's it. Well, I don't really. One know to three, your turn ends. Oh, you okay. collect in this your estate income, so your turn's okay. over otherwise. All right, so I'll pay the coin, which is like. All right. Now, question, Bailey. Hmm. What it's got serious? What do you think <laughs> sextant means? I have no idea. Yeah, just take a guess. I'll even look at the card. We'll use context clues. I'm going to take a guess. So, I'm looking at a lot of things. Yeah, read, read the whole thing. Make sure you understand the card. I think... So, there is a compass. Uh-huh. It looks like in a... There's a ship. Yeah. And the ship's navigator somehow misplaces sextant. Mm -hmm. Which it... Then there's a bird. There's lots of birds. So, is a sextant and a cat. Is... 
somehow, and then this is like a weird candlestick. Which yeah, I so what, what do you think was. it means? I don't know. I feel like it's a tool to help you navigate. Like, and he lost yeah. it. Like, it's yeah. a compass that, like, mm-hmm. he, like. Yeah, she's, she's right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it means, too. So I was just hoping she would say something much more ridiculous. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. He's we... like, let me set her up for So failure. I think <laughs> the sextant is, at, if you look at the top right, I think this, where are my fingers going? That little thing. I believe that is a sextant, which they use to look at the stars Mm. And then align their navigation at sea based on star travel. Hmm. Now, if I'm wrong, which I could be, because I'm going off of like vague memories from my past that that is a sextant. Otherwise, it could be something else. <laughs> I'll leave you to judge. All right. Anyway, she passed and she gained a coin. <laughs> I passed my school quiz that I didn't know I was on. But now you do. So I kind of gained a coin, lost coin. I paid a coin. Botany and board is all about learning. So if anybody ever wants to learn anything. Wait, so I paid a coin to gain a coin. So I actually get it back. Because I threw it in. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I paid a coin to gain a coin, got it back. Uh, I have moved two, right? I've only moved two. That sounds right. So I need to go one more into mm-hmm. the southern Because you started states. at Greenland and you yes. went one to New England. So I have also in my southern states. She got I mangroves. Drop off my mangrove. The mangrove grapes. Grapes. And then I don't. Ooh, no, I already have Pearl And so then, therefore, I'll go ahead and draw up. So I get to draw two and two extra. So okay. four cards, please. And I get to keep two of these. That sounds accurate. And my cards are green currently. None of these are green. Of course not. <laughs> I know. I haven't had that luck That would be too easy. Mm. Arabian. I do love Aladdin every time I see it. Arabia. I'm just half interested to go. Mm-hmm. Arabia and Spain are pretty cool. Close to each other, but that's only with worth one. New England. Oh, I buy New England. Keep that. And I suppose Italy or Spain is closer to the trajectory of back. returning home. Mm-hmm. But Italy is negative one, so I mean these are only going to be worth Spain, one, especially if you end up on the outskirts. Like if you get blue cards, I, I mean. But Arabia is like kind of in the middle. I'm but I always like Arabia I always with... end up in here, and then Spain is like that quick trajectory mm. through the ocean. Yeah, yeah. I'm Italy's gonna... in that convoluted triangle. I'm gonna keep Arabia. Okay. Because it was worth two points, and I feel like you're beating me right now, so I've gotta. I, I can't be wasting my time on these. Little... I don't know. Maybe I definitely feel like that's what's happening. Okay, two income for me. Okay. I want to be the best botanist that there was. I want to impress the queen. <laughs> that's the goal of the game. You laughed at me, but that's what. Yeah, you I win laughed at queen. you going, I want to impress the queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. I'm not a good actor. We realized that today. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your state. Yeah, you'll have to see if I put that skit in. Then. Uh, you got your state coins. I heard you say that. So. I did. I'm going to spend one. One, two, is that the quickest Wait, thing? did I pass through New England on the way you to did the that, Southern uh, States? Yeah, but you did that the very oh, first after. thing. That's okay, a new yeah, card. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Sorry. One, <laughs> like, two, I like, three. I think I'm going to go to Baltic because I need to get to far eastern Russia, which is east of Russia. Far eastern Russia, and then... Get to Tibet. One, two, three. I can get to Tibet next time. So I I can make two trips, I guess, out of that. So I'll do one, two, three. I didn't encounter anything. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm going to get my estate coins of two. And it is your turn. All right. One. I will head to... I think I'm going to do Mexico, Mexico, West Indies, New England. Yeah, I could do like a little 
but I have two two in my warding case right now. So I really mm. just need to pick up one and go home. So let's go to New England first, and then I'll yep. get the West Indies stuff after. Unless I go all the way and just get Arabia. Um, oh, no, that's too far away. Okay. Let's go back up to New England. Did I pay my income? I forgot I missed that. So I pay my income. Go back up to New England. Deposit my new Columbine okay. into my warding case. Trigger an event. Event card. We have... Well... Yes, we have something. <laughs> there you oh, go. The Q, charm. Q Gardens. Renowned botanist William Hooker would be uh, would like to create an exhibition showcasing specimens from your collection at Q Gardens. I got a five. So okay, I gain a... two coins in estate income. Nice. And then I have two more movements, so I'm gonna go ahead and just move up two towards heading back to the estate. Okay. And I will draw back up. And then get your normal estate <clears throat> income. Oh yes. Very nice. Thank you for reminding me. And so I get three of these. Okay. Ooh, these are both British Columbia. I should get a couple mm -hmm. of them. I think I'm going to do my turn while you select. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to go one, two, three, end up in Tibet. I'm going to put this in one of my cases. I'm going to pull an event card. This event says, unruly mule. Unruly pack mules have no care for fragility. I got to do a charm roll. One to three, I lose an item. Four to six, I gain an item. Ooh. A two. And what kind of roll was it? Uh, it was a charm. Let me check, see if I have any charms. Mm -hmm. I don't see any charms. I would have to lose an item. I think I'll lose the bear. Oh, That's it's a pet, it's, I, not an item. You don't have any items. Oh, I don't even have to give one up. Um, also, I just noticed I had this expedition guy, and on a five or six, I can roll an extra land space. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I get a five or six, I can go extra. I got a four, but now I know. <laughs> and, okay, so I did the event card. I just need to get my estate income, and it is your turn. All right. <clears throat> Back to the estate I go, throw in the one, one, two, a three. Here I am bringing back my beautiful things. I have, again, brought three, three for me, reputation. Oh. And I have no pressed specimens this time. Okay. Uh, I still feel good. Wait, no, I don't want Arabia. Yeah, do you want to cycle? I don't think I want Arabia. Okay. Try to decide. Oh, I was in Greenland. Sorry, whatever. Before I left, I meant to press this specimen, which would have triggered an event before I left. Sorry about that. Okay. So, so you pressed that one. First step, press this. Let's see yes. if you make it. All right. So she was supposed to do an event before she did all these other things. So you lose an item if you don't get a one to two. And you got a one to two. <laughs> do you have an agility? No. Okay. Lose an item. I don't have any items. Okay, never mind. All right, you're good. Poor anyway. Okay, so I made it there, and then I will then draw back up. Because I try to decide if I want to shuffle out Arabia, though, actually, because I don't really have... It's fine. It's it's kind of... Well, this is... You're going to get I'll this card it. no matter what. Okay. This, and then I get two extra because of my hunting dogs. Thank you. All right, and then I will get my estate Can I see income. Your hunting for dogs? The Are you turn. sure you get two extra on all? Like when you cycle through, or is this when you draw any nor number of specimen cards? Okay, based on that, how that's written, I'm going to say yeah. You know, because it seemed like something like mm -hmm. more out in the field versus like yeah. at the estate. Yep. So I am done. I'm just going to choose which one of these I keep. Okay. And... Did you get your estate income? I did. I did okay. just do two. All right, I need to get my other one actually, uh, which I probably wanted one that you got, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna spend one and go one, two, three. I end up in far eastern Russia. 
going to place the, I'm going to say viola or viola. It's kind of pretty. Place that in my area. And land, you return to the botanical society with a specimen you've discovered as a more, most powerful aphrodisiac. Charm, roll one die. One to two, I lose a reputation. Three to six, I gain two coins. Three to six, nice. In estate income. Okay, so there's two. And that was three movement. So I'm going to draw back up. And... One thing I wish I would have done while I was at the estate, mm -hmm. if you don't mind letting me do it, is by the conservatory. It'll just take me up too, is the only difference. Okay. One, two, three. Is it eight points? Uh, the conservatory is eight. Yeah. Can I have that, please? Okay. Sorry. She does all this backtracking, <laughs> trying to like work her way up. Well, I thought about it more. As I, I get was, my like, normal estate there. income, which is two. And Bailey, it is your turn. Okay. Off I go. To the West Indies in Mexico, and then Arabia is not, and then southern, southeastern Russia, which is where you are at. So I'll go ahead and go. We have West Indies or Mexico. I will not make it to get an event anywhere, but one, two, three in Colombia. So I will go ahead and spend four and buy an Edwardian case. Mm -hmm. Or should I just wait until actually like I for sure need to do that? Eh, I'll buy one. That's fine. I assume I'll probably need one. Yeah, I have bought, so no event. I already am full up, and I will get my two estate income, and it is your turn. Okay. Spend a coin. I'm going to go one across the map, two up to California for three. I think I want to go to California. Let me see if there's any other. I have Colombia and Chile. Yeah, I think I want to do this one first. So I didn't encounter anything. I'm going to get my state income, and it is your turn. Right. Pay in one, and I'm headed to the West Indies. So I will put this in my Wardian case, and that will trigger the event. Civil unrest. We've read this one, but it's a prowess. One to three, you lose an item. Four to six, gain a reputation. I lose an item, and I don't have any items again, so okay. it's fine. And so I have two more moves, so I will keep going towards Mexico and make it there and deposit that in my warning in case the Delia. Okay. And then I'll get my estate income and I will draw back up. So four cards, please. There's two. Well, for my indecisive personality, Three, sometimes it's not good for me to get as many cards, but the colors help. Them That's why them. we're jumping ahead to my <laughs> turn each time. <laughs> All right, so I have three coins left. I'm going to spend a coin, and I'm going to go to Central Canada for one. And that triggers an event. This event card says, Easy Breezy. You are warned repeatedly not to admire the press specimens where, okay, so one to three, I lose a specimen in press. Four to six, I gain a reputation. I don't have any in press, so I'm good, so I hope I gain a reputation. That'd be nice. Yes. And when I gain a reputation, I get to use my falcon. Yes. Oh, it actually worked for you. Finally. And now you get three coins. I, I do. I get three income. coins. So that's cool. Um, so I did one move there, so now I'm going to go two, three, and end in the same spot as Bailey. I'm going to draw back up, and I'm going to get 
three coins for my person. Okay, my turn. Yep. All right, in Mexico, here I was. I found this marigold, beautiful. Put mm -hmm. it right in, triggered an event. That's taken no moves so far. Event, please. Okay. I'm trying to like <laughs> massively block it out. I'm like, I can't get any closer. Here we go. Aggressive bees. One to two, lose Ooh. a reputation. Three to six, I can press a specimen. Nice. Lovely. I'll press the one in Far East Russia. Like I was going to get that. Everybody's like, why haven't you been holding the cards that close to the camera this long? I don't know. Didn't try it. <laughs> it, was, it just came to me. Okay. Okay. I went to Mexico, so I haven't even moved at all yet. Okay. So I will move one. Mm -hmm. Hit up. So that was you. Hit up Texas. How come you only have two cards? Because I just pressed a specimen and I already, oh, okay. I was there. Yeah, already. okay, I see. Um, so Texas, I will drop this off mm -hmm. in my second guardian case. Yep. And that was one move. And I guess I'll just go two, three and walk back this way. And three, four, five cards, please. And I have a ring. See how many that is. I think that's four. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Okay. And I'm going to keep three of these. Spend a coin. Go. Columbia. I'm going to drop off this here. And that will trigger an event. Let's see if I can do it again. Really up close. Closer. Closest. I got it to do it that one time. There it is. Rope bridge. When crossing the island's only rope bridge, you hear a sound that is suspiciously similar to strands of rope breaking. One to three, I lose a specimen in press, which I don't have. Four to six, I may press a specimen. Okay. I like this. It's not hurting me too much. Uh, so I did get four to six, so I could press a specimen. I'm going to go ahead and press this tiger lily. And so that was only one move. I'm going to go two, three, end up in Chile. And in Chile, I'm going to add this to my collection. I'm going to grab I need to get my, my estate income. Yeah, I didn't do that last time, but here. supposedly. I definitely did it. I promise. She promises. All right. Promises, promises. All right, your turn. Okay. On words I go. To, ooh, I don't have a good mix up, you guys, right now. So, I'm like, where do I want to go and then circle back? Because I can pick up two more specimens to fulfill both of my. I have a Brazil and California. California. And Arabia. California. And I got to draw up. Okay, I'll go towards California. That's fine. Since we talked about um, appealing, which I don't know, I'll go ahead and go that way. So I've already paid in my income, so I will go a one a two, put my peony into my wardian case, and trigger an event, sir. For some reason, I feel like it likes to look over here. <laughs> uh, leeches. Ooh. After wading through a stream, yeah, you emerge covered in the most incredible number of leeches. Five. You can purchase costs one less coin this turn. Okay. I'll go ahead and get the... I'll pay one, then I get the shotgun. And just be extra prowess. And... I trying to remember if I had one more movement, but I can't remember for a fact that I do. So I won't. You ended in Texas, I want to say, last time. Uh, but then, no, then I had two extra movements, and mm. I actually walked myself back up. Oh, and so I, didn't, then I, I guess was, I didn't Yeah, then I was trying to move back down. So I'll just, I'll just hang there just in case. Did I don't you want get to your estate income? No, I need to do that. So two okay. for that. 
And then I will need to draw back up. How many cards do you need? Uh, I just need, so three. No. Yeah. That's one, but then I get okay. two extras. Yep. All right, I'm going to spend a coin. I'm going to go to Peru, and that lets me put this card down. I'm going to pull an event card. This event says, and I'm going to start here and move over, Seed Shotgun. You find a hillside ripe for growing flowers, but traditional seed planting methods are too inefficient. You wonder how many seeds can fit in a shotgun. I get to do cleverness roll, and one to three, I lose a reputation. Four to six, I gain one. Now, my guy is a reputation or a cleverness person, so hopefully this pans out. A four. Uh, yep, I gain a reputation. When I gain a reputation, I get to do my falcon roll. Oh. <laughs> I know it bounced you guys. I know you that. <laughs> that was brutal. It was like on it and then went back. If I if I get back at the footage, I can zoom in on that. It's like oh. his falcon was like, and then just kept back on Yeah, the that was brutal. So um, I'm going to go two three end up there draw up grab my reputation income and i'm gonna go ahead you can only buy one thing around right mm -hmm. uh i think so i think yeah. that's right as well yeah you may make one purchase per turn yeah okay i'll buy a thing Ooh, the thief i do like the thing your turn Okay. Here we go. I'm going to cinch Lower Canada. Mm -hmm. On my way to Lower Canada. One, two. Depositing my shooting star. Yep. What a name. Event me. Oh, sorry. Wrong card. The event this time around is... What is... Hold on. I just feel like it likes it over here. I can't figure out why. It doesn't like at all what you're doing. Remedy, <laughs> while suffering from a fever, you decide that a healer is not needed and so, you are perfectly capable of mixing your own. Fortitude roll. Gain a coin. Did you gain one? Yep, I did. Okay. I got a four. And so that was two moves. And so my things are full, so I'll just go ahead and walk one more towards the estate and then get my estate income of two. And then I'll fill up. So give me three cards again. Okay. I like really like this ability, but then I also like hate having to like <laughs> like look every time like reevaluate. Uh. Um, so I am out of coins, so I'm going to hand back a healer, and I'm going to go one, two, end up in the estate. In the estate, I'm going to drop off one, two, three. Four, five, six, which will give me six coins, two reputation, and let's see. Oh, I also have a thing in press. He got to 12. No, you're going to do it before I get there? I'm trying I as hard as I you. can. Uh, do but, I get a turn? Yeah, you get a turn. Okay. So I think you could still make Ooh. it. Yeah, yeah, again, one, two, three. I yeah. was like, dude, See, not. I was I was more annoyed because Bailey was like, oh, I still have a move. And I thought she was going to be here. And I was like, ha, 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 ha. And so, okay. But anyway, she makes it. So whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm going to purchase an item while I'm here for one. Um, my estate income is going to be three. What else can I do? Uh, do those help me at all? No, I don't think those are... Those are worth two points at the end of the game. So if you have extra money, depending on the, how much money you have, because mm -hmm. we also have two points. Competition are, for that. Yep. Yeah. So. so there's a strategic way to go, and you're going to get money because of the way yours ends. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's good. It's fine. All right, that is going to be my turn. Bailey's turn. Do you get another round, or no? You no. you went uh, to twelve. Done. You're done. I'm done. Even though I started the game. I mean, it so says whoever uh, hits twelve. Now, uh, what I do get to do is I can roll my falcon. He does it again. <laughs> he does. He's it. off the charts. Yeah. He's at a thirteen reputation. Everyone, people. Uh, no, it. I believe if I recall the way the rules stated and. 
obviously, once again, Dusty and Amy, you Let can reach know. out and tell us if we did this wrong. But um, if I get to the very end of the game and I launch it, I get to complete my turn, mm -hmm. but everyone else gets one turn. Okay. But I agree. Since Bailey started the game, caveat here, technically, I probably won. Okay, we jumped a little. We didn't jump in. We any. like leapfrogged over nope. a few things on that whole. I mean, you started the, the game. Other. I ended the game on the same amount of turns. Currently, Bailey and I are tied on the same amount of turns, and I've completed the game. But now it's my turn to bring in my war garment. All right, pieces. let's see how you do. <laughs> okay. Well, there's your one. One. One, two, a three. Okay. And I'm like. Did you not have any cards that had anything here? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, actually, no. I think I did. Maybe. No, 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 no. No, you okay. nope, I didn't. All right. Uh, See, that was okay. That was my running in with like, I picture people like. I was in, thinking like, of here. a horse when I heard her like feet <laughs> clopping below me. I was like, oh, okay, the horses are coming. I just picture like you're really excited. You're like, look at this rare specimen. Yeah, right but now. nobody's running with glass cases. Like, what if you dropped them at the last second? You're like, oh, dang it, why was I okay. running? Well, look at these beautiful specimens, They're everyone. so beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Which is worth six coins, mm -hmm. which will be worth nothing at the end of the game. And except for I could buy some stuff, and I get two reputation. Okay. Which will now give me three coins at the end as well. Mm hmm Um... So I can't do much else while I'm there because this is going to be the end game anyway. So I'm just going to buy... I've already bought a conservatory. So could I buy another one or do I just get an No, you can buy another one. Okay, then I'll just buy another conservatory for the three. Yeah, okay. So five, six, seven, eight. More conservatories. And I think you can just buy one, though, per time. Okay. And there's nothing else that's going to really get me any points. So, yep. yeah. You ready for so, some scoring? Final score. Woo! All right. Let's see how we did. Uh, do you want to get that little sheet? Oh, I forgot out? My, my press. Oh, you got a press. Okay. Well, I can safely say Bailey got the most pressed. Most pressed. So, there's two points. Ooh, thank you. Uh, most expedition cards. I have one, two, three, four. I have four. So we're tied. I guess uh, we'll just we'll just count that out. Yeah. Uh, and then this one is most coins, which ha, ha, you have to count yours out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nineteen. Ooh, that's pretty close. Uh, I have oh ten. Can you see these? Okay, so ten. 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 26. Ooh. So I could have still bought something. I could have bought an orangery for two. Oh, no, no, that would have been good. nice to do. I was trying to play it ahead. So, okay. Next, let's count up our life Okay, cards. so for bonus points, you ended up with two and I ended up with two. Or I guess we could say we both ended up with three. Let's just say that. You want to split, we split Okay, this one. so we'll split it. We'll house rule so. that. Three and three for bonus cards. Bonus cards. All right. The next one uh, being uh, conservate or yeah, conservatories and stuff. Mm -hmm. What did you get there? So I got six points. And I have three. Okay. And I zoomed in on this if you want to lay okay. your cards out. So I'll do mine first. Two, five, seven. 10, 13, 16, 18, 20, 22, 25, 28, wow. 30. I didn't even plan this to come out in 10s like this, but here we go. 32, 35, 35 plus 3 is 38, and 1 is 39 plus the 1 pressed card. 40. So wait, no, 39 specimens pressed is separate, or we okay. wrote a separate. Sure. Okay, so, so 40 total wow, for me. that was a lot. I think you have quite a bit. That looks like a pretty hefty stack. Yeah, but I feel like yours is way more. Okay, 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, five, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, wait, 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 wait. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 specimens. Three, and five, pressed. seven, ten. Three, five, seven, nine, twelve. So that was twenty-two. Five plus five is ten plus three. So thirteen plus twenty-two. Did you come up with thirty-five? Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought you counted one more. I thought you didn't count your threes, right? You were doing this weird thing where you're like one, two, three, four, five, six instead of three. <laughs> like you didn't do like normal math. Okay. Um, She's calculating my score. I think she might have edged me out. My two points. Oh, she got I me. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, two things here is, so Bailey ended up winning by, oh, sorry, wrong one. By two Bailey points. ended up winning by two points. And I thought this at the end is I could have bought and still got the longest or the most coins. I could have still had the most coins and bought the conservatory and we would have tied. Mm -hmm. But flip side is I could have easily said to Bailey, since she already spent money and wasn't going to get the most coins, she could have bought an item and got two and outright stole all the um, yeah. uh, Having ex the most, expedition uh, yep, bonus cards. That's right. yep. uh, so I think she's going to pull it out anyway. So long story short, though, did I win? It would be interesting because, like we're saying, we're playing the prototype. And since Bailey started the game and I ended the game and then allowed her to have a whole nother turn, meaning she played a, an extra turn than anybody else yeah. on the board. Would she actually win? I, yeah, it's an interesting. She won. She won. I'll, you know, <laughs> with the rules that we have, she won. Um, He's looking at him yeah. squirm. Because I played really, really well. But that is something. I, I forgot that you started. That is a true fact. I did start. You technically got a whole nother round than me. Yes. Because I could have chose not to end the game. But also that was nail biting because yeah. I literally had two I had six Well everybody six who's watching specimens. is like, Well he kicked your butt because he beat your butt with less rounds. You got a whole extra round to beat him. Everyone in handicap. The below. I, I let her go first because I know I'm gonna end the game. <laughs> no, like, I that's how like, I keep it close. Everyone please let me know in the comments below who really kicked whose yeah, butt. Yeah, who really kicked whose butt? Yeah. <laughs> She won by two, she started the game, and I ended the game, and she got a whole extra round. Who kicked whose butt? She won I by won. Two. What do you have now, to say about today said, earlier today? You were lucky as heck. I thought she was going to piddle around in the middle of the board over here, and like I was running to get there because I knew I was going to end the game, and then I knew she couldn't get back. If I got my, like, me, I'm like, I didn't have pack mules, but I was like, come on, donkeys, <laughs> let's get going. You know, and I get to the front, and then I was like, oh, yeah, she would be, there would be no chance. But she was just close enough to be able to get in there. So that was an unfortunate strategical letdown on my point. But, yeah, you, you made a strong argument. Like, I didn't think about you started the game, and so you mm -hmm. do end up with an extra round. So maybe it's not advantageous for me to try to end the game even on if I'm a, on my turn, yeah. even if I'm ahead of you due to that. I would, but I mean, like, think if you think about it this way, though, I was never going to trigger it. I'm all the way back here. Yeah, yeah, that's what so, I'm saying. And I didn't have to trigger it. I could have, like, I mean, it was going to happen but because I was full. But I could have pressed a bunch of flowers but and it was then very taken close. over some other I things. I actually, like, had I not let all these go, like, it looked like you were clear to close it. Like, you were yeah. wanting to close it before I brought all my Correct. stuff Correct. You were just at, just close enough to be there yeah. as well. Because that's actually what happened to our morning play as well. So mm -hmm. we played this morning. Well, we actually played two times today other than recordings have not yes. necessarily all panned out we had some audio, audio. issues and yeah. some other things anyway uh, but so earlier though we also played and that's what happened to him was he had two full warning cases mm -hmm. that he actually couldn't get back in time yeah. and i triggered the end game and he was too far out and he actually couldn't get back there to get his last turn that is true that did <gasps> happen but I am uh, the main botanist. Yep, she she did win. She, the, Here on Botany and Board, thank you all for coming. We love you so much. See you next time. Yeah, see you <laughs> next time. Uh, do you want to say what you thought? 
Uh, sure. Yeah, I really like yeah. this. So. I'll switch it. I'll switch it back to this so we um, get to. I so I keep in mind this is a prototype, and I'll let Bailey talk first because she's the big winner. <laughs> the big winner. Yes. Also, so take everything we say with a grain of salt because again, we are provided this game, and I don't know that it's us. some of the things like, for instance, the way Bailey won. That might be different by the time you guys uh, get the game. Like the rules may yes. be slightly different yes. than so. Like maybe you can't win the way she won. Exactly. Yes. We so, don't like know everything, that. this is in prototype form. So, honestly, like nothing that we think about the yeah. game at this point probably even matters. But this just sure. really gives you a general idea of who might like this game and how kind of the general mechanics go. Mm-hmm. What I guess I would say or like to say is like who maybe I think okay. would like this game or the thing, the pros that I find about it, perhaps. Sure. So, I love the aesthetics. So, I personally backed this game before they reached out and we're like oh it was a really (laughs) close timeline though that was an interesting thing like they reached out and they were like like you had just backed them because one of Mm -hmm. our our subscriber greg uh so greg was like hey you guys should you know look at this game seems like it'd be a perfect fit and then like literally like less than a week yep they reached out and they're like hey would you guys want to do a playthrough? Somebody recommended your channel. And I'm yeah. like, well, that's so funny because we also got recommended yes. your yeah. stuff. I mean, it's Botany and Boar. Yeah, it, it, was a, so. it was a match made in heaven. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, that was, that was an interesting thing. But okay, so what so, were you yes. saying? So, sorry. So the aesthetic and the theme obviously like hits it out of the charts for me. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait to see the board whenever it gets the gold inlay and all of the oh, nice yeah. components. I also, this is like a random thing, but I love it when people do... Uh, like the player meeples, from what I can tell, at least from the Kickstarter page, are going to be similarly like this, where they're a little bit different colors, sure, kind of like sure. Red Rising. And I love that. I I just hate the standard primary colors. And I'm like, just just give me a pretty color. How hard is it? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's true. I don't actually know how hard that is. People will tell me like it costs like this much more per thing, which you know. Whatever. But I I guess. I, what we can't say is, like, I don't know what all is going to stay. I love the artwork. I thought the artwork mm-hmm. was yes, really, really so nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I can show some of those again. Uh, yeah, the aesthetics are great. So it's lightweight enough that I think you can get it out with uh, lots of people and it won't be... We So we were discussing it, actually. We, like, took a walk earlier today. He finds it a little bit higher weight than Ticket to Ride. Oh, but yeah. So I don't know why Bailey keeps Ticket to Ride. Well, because of the map, annoyed. it just like Ticket to Rides me. Can I say what I map. thought it was then? Yes. I thought if you mix the game Planted, I, I really have a good feel. Like if Planted and Pandemic had a baby, <laughs> then you get Botany. Uh, and then I mixed in, and I this is the bad example, but I I have such limited experience. So I said if you mixed Istanbul because of the fact that you have to keep going back to the estate mm, yes, as I a did. movement yeah. mechanic, then if Istanbul uh, planted and pandemic yes. came together, you might get botany. There's obviously some little quirks to it, but like I, I really enjoyed the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just can't speak I, I can't speak to component quality because I don't know the end result. Right. But what I'm looking at right now, I like the artwork mm-hmm. and the I, I thought great. it was yeah. all really nice. Yeah, it's like so aesthetically pleasing. So that's what yeah. I was going to say. If, if the aesthetic is a hit for you mm-hmm. and you are someone who likes a light to medium weight game that yeah. would be like easy to get to the table, I think it says one to five also yeah. on the play count. I have not played the solo uh, rules yet, which I don't know when we're supposed to send back the prototype. So I'll have to see if I have time to check it out <laughs> uh, before we send it back to them. But I haven't looked at that, but it does come with a solo mode. And it seems like one that I know they have an AI that gets implemented with it from what I wrote and uh, what I read. And and I think it's pretty simplistic the way they layer it on. So I could see it actually being really fun as a solo mode. Yeah, as well. I think it would So I'll be. have to give a, give a check out to that. But yeah. yes, I... <laughs> So your income, which I happen to have like quite a bit of income at this uh-huh. point in my life and is rich, you know, but at the beginning, you're very, you don't have very much money. And so you can only go on a very like short expedition before mm-hmm. you need to like get your butt back. Yeah. Otherwise there's some punishing aspects of the game that you have to, if you can't pay a coin, you have to start giving up items and then mm-hmm. or giving up actual plants that you like went out and found. And so that part is very interesting, you know, to yeah. the artwork besides liking it in the sense of style, it has a good historical presence. And Mm -hmm. so like, if you look around the board, this is like looking at like an old age map 
uh, and I mean, I don't know for the people because you're talking about who is this for, mm-hmm. and so we kind of talked about like yeah. games that we think have similar mechanisms, but then like who is it for? I think this is for somebody who, my opinion, uh, who likes some historical presence, probably likes botany, but you don't have to. Yeah. Um, but they like a worldly theme. And, and I, I think Pandemic speaks to that in the volume. Like, Pandemic probably could have made a game about kind of anything, but it happened to be about viruses because it's called Pandemic or, like, you know, contagious diseases. But, like, there's something about, like, going to other countries and it having, like, the world be, like, all as a unit that is some people, I think, enjoy that. It's like the whole Magellan experience of, like, traveling the world. And so I think if yeah. you're a person who's traveled a lot, this is a fun game yeah. because it doesn't matter what the topic is. It's a worldly theme. Yes. Yeah. And like, and this is very like, you know, all, all of their artwork too, and like, and the artwork I assume in this map, like very vintage looking like travel. Mm-hmm. So yeah, travel plans just, or if like gameplay wise, if you guys like uh, exploration a lot, yeah. I would say that would go well. And then we haven't played it in multiple player counts, so we've only played it at two, so we can't really highlight anything for you guys on that. Um, but on the multiple player count, like one thing we didn't encounter is there's a little Catan-esque vibe or Lords of oh, Vegas vibe yes. mm-hmm. where you can like, I, I remember, I know what the original r- rule book says, and so I'm trying to, I want to phrase it because I, they've, several renditions of the rule book have been made, but like uh, you can barter and trade with each other. So... You know, if I can't pay to get back uh, to the estate, like I don't have the coins, Mm -hmm. you can make like trades with people at the table. And now Bailey and I on a two person player game probably aren't going to make those trades very often unless they're really strategic. But you can trade about anything if I recall the original rules, but I'm sure it's tailored a little differently. (laughs) But but the long story short is that could be an interesting dynamic where... Yeah, we haven't done trading at all. On a three or four person game, there would be trading. I think that would take place because, you know, somebody would be like, oh, they're getting close to win. We need to thwart them. And they're not worried about making trades with somebody at like three if one person's at nine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one thing that would be really interesting in a multiplayer setting. Yes, actually, and in the <clears throat> in the multiplayer with that, you actually could use that like a little bit how we do in like three player Catan, where mm-hmm. we kind of like yeah, if two if one person is like really far ahead, you could all kind of gang together and yeah. like and this maybe would be easy because sabotage. it tracks it for you. So you're yes. like you couldn't like you don't have to count up their tiles and look around the board. You're like you're at nine. Like there's no arguing yeah. about it. You're definitely winning. Um, so yeah. that's a, that's a cool fact. Well, could be could be winning, not just because your not just because your reputation's up. That's true. But usually, kind of like me, I won the whole game. I ended the game. I had the highest mm-hmm. reputation, yep. and I didn't win the game. Yep. Maybe. I I mean I personally really enjoyed it, and there's a lot of mechanics. So everybody's like, I can't believe Wyatt enjoyed that, and I'm like, Yeah, I know. I'm a simple guy, but I really enjoy a little complexity, and I thought this one was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I just think there's several mechanics that once you learn them, it's pretty simple. And I enjoy the game. I I do. I'm one of those person, people, who likes historical things. I like, I like plants because I'm married to Bailey, and um, I mean the the art is. I like the art. I like old timey art and. I actually had an outfit I was going to wear, but it was too hot to wear it. <laughs> it but, like, I like old-timey themes, and so I didn't wear it today because it was 87 degrees and yeah. super humid here. But, yeah, overall, I, I think it's a great game. So Yeah, so, again, this is on Kickstarter right now, so if you guys want to go check it out, uh, we'll have the link down below, and I believe the base game starts at 39 um, I myself did go in and back the base game plus both expansions. So the expansions offer, uh, one is trees and then the other one I think is just another different type. So it offers you a couple more, um, investigators and then just oh, some new you gotta plants. you got to do it the other way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> investigators. Investigators. I liked my pronouns. It likes to look at our faces. Anyway. Yeah, you had a good person. I don't feel like you roll a one very often though. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> Uh, but yes, it is on Kickstarter right now. Go check out the link down below. 39 for the base game. Uh, 75, I believe, is what it was to get both two expansions and the base so, game. US dollars? 
U.S. dollars. Yes, plus shipping. Um, and then so it's different with each region that you're in. But yeah, this was Botany. Let us know any questions you have. I'm sure that perhaps Dusty and Amy will be by our... Yeah, shout out to Dusty and yes. Amy. Yeah. We, we <laughs> really enjoyed uh, playing the game. So thanks for reaching out to us because yeah. uh, it's been an enjoyable uh, prototype for us to try out. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you guys very much. And then I'm sure they might be by, though, to answer any questions you have. So feel free, even if we don't know, they might maybe show up and just answer your question for you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we'll see you next time. See ya.